Especially when they came in, uh, they were significantly bigger and heavier than I expected. Uh, where do we see this? So that guy just bridges across the back doors. This one clearly goes on the door that swings out. The lock is attached with those two flathead screws, so uh, you don't ever have to like set the lock down separately or anything like that. Um, and I mean, there's just a lot of steel here. It would take forever to grind through this. Um, so let's go around the back and I'll show you how it fits on the door. So I got permission to park and do the work in the back of an Ace Hardware parking lot because there's a good chance I'm gonna to need to run back in there and possibly pick up more bolts, screws, washers, drill bit, something. So it's nice to do the work right here and they said no problem. Uh, <clears throat> so already marked out where the lock is gonna go. And initially, Wanting the seam to be here, I was going to drill here, here, and here. The problem was that lines up with that. But being that the whole thing, so what I had to do was move it from there to there, which I think will still be fine because you obviously have to open the right hand door first four of those and one five inch two of these and I'm going to use three bigger washers but I'm, I'll double them up with the standard size washer um, total of seven nuts and bolts washers flat and lock washers next step is to drill holes in the van which I'm a little nervous about just like I was when I had to cut 14 inch by 14 inch square holes in the roof for my max air fans but that worked out perfectly fine and I suspect this will too we'll start with a 3 16 inch hole but then obviously we're going to go up to the 3 8 little punch tool like this Tap, tap that right in the center of your markings and you will drill, um, all your holes should be drilled perfectly. So we'll go ahead and get started. I know I've been procrastinating, but it's time to do damage to the van. divot that I made the drill bit will not wander at all it just stays right there. all right this last hole this guy being the only one that has to go all the way to about there um, luckily it's clean sailing So we did that. Um, this one is straight. This one went up at a bad angle. I just I let it wander too much and don't like the way it's going to look because it won't let the the head of the carriage bolt won't sit nice and flat. So we just drilled another one and now my washer will definitely hide that screw hole. So we should be okay.
some of these holes very gentle little uh, deburring. So another small issue I had like with the size of this thing, I really thought it'd be more like three inches and it's like four and a half maybe, I'm not even sure. We can double. We can check it. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, four and a half. Is I've got a space. I don't really like. And uh <clears throat> so what I've decided to do, and I found in the Ace Hardware store, is this big sheet of rubber, an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm going to back the entire locking plate with it and then thicken it up in the middle. Black on black, but it might do the trick. Shiny. That works. basically going to be the moment of truth. Clearly I have some rubber to trim, which I didn't foresee that coming. But, uh... Hmm. That's not... Closing all the way for some reason. I have to make that one smaller because it just was enough proud. Still have to slam it more than I'd like. I wonder if I ground this guy down. I'm not really sure what's hitting at this point. Um, I'll show you. That's not enough. That is enough. Yeah, she is. 